Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be upon you. We stopped our last episode in a serious ayah, in a serious verse where Allah Almighty says, Thumma idha sha'a and shara. After the death, this person, if Allah wills, He will bring him back on the day of resurrection. And we explained that how He will come back from the hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. When he said that there is a small piece in the body that called ajab, zanab, that this will not be eaten by the worms or by the dust or the sand. Now Allah Almighty saying about those who are denying, kalla, lamma yaqdi ma amara. Allah Almighty saying, no, the man didn't complete it or fulfilled what Allah Almighty told him to do in the dunya. Allah Almighty told him to do in the dunya that to worship him in this world, to obey him, not to do bad things, not to cheat, not to lie, not to do any of these things. But he didn't care. Allah Almighty said that you have to pray, you have to give charity, you have to fast, you have to do all the good things. He didn't care. That's why Allah Almighty says, Kalla. No. About this person, he didn't accomplish or he didn't complete or he didn't obey and he didn't fa follow what Allah Almighty commanded him to do. And then Allah Almighty again telling this person that if you are denying Allah and you are denying the day of resurrection and Allah is giving you the example that you being created from a drop and this drop become a baby and this baby become a boy after the birth and this boy become you know an adult and this adult died the way he created you from a drop he is able to bring you back on the day of judgment not only that then Allah Almighty said let a person let a human being see to his food you don't want to now believe on the day of judgment and even if you are denying and not trying to fix your brain by thinking that yes, you was nothing and you came out of nothing and you will die and then you will be resurrected. If, even if that simple thing, it's not going inside your brain as an atheist, as the one who is disbelieving in Allah, Allah Almighty says, فَلْيَنْظُرِ insan. Let the, the, the man, let the human being see and look at his own food. فَلْيَنْظُرُ الْإِنسَانُ إِلَى طَعَامِهِ What about it? أَنَّا صَبَبْنَا الْمَاءَ صَبَّ Now Allah is telling you something more simple and more logic. Allah Almighty says, أَنَّا صَبَبْنَا الْمَاءَ صَبَّ We pour the water, we pour the rain from the skies. أَنَّا صَبَبْنَا الْمَاءَ صَبَّ We pour the water. Means out of rain and from the skies. And you know what will happen after that. Allah says, ثُمَّ شَقَقْنَا الْأَرْضَ شَقَّ That we made after this water, this rain, شَقَقْنَا الْأَرْضَ شَقَّ That we made earth to get into the cracks. He made the earth to be cracked. Then what? فَأَنْبَتْنَا فِيهَا حَبَّ And in it, we took out the grain. And then Allah Almighty said, وَعِنَبًا وَقَضْبَ That not only the grain, but the grapes, the other things that you can eat, and your animals, and your people around you. So simple logic. Allah Almighty sending you from, from the skies, water, rain. And this rain going in the earth, this earth after some time is getting cracked. And from this crack, the plant and the grain and the grapes coming out. What else you want after the death earth is giving you fruit? In order to know more what will happen, we'll just take a quick break and we will continue, inshallah.
Welcome back, dear viewers. So, Allah Almighty telling us that He sent down the rain. The rain goes down to the earth. After some time, the earth gets cracked. And from this earth, the plant, the grain, the fruit, the grapes coming out. Yet you denying Allah, yet you denying the Creator, yet you not believing in the, create, the Creator, Allah Almighty. Then Allah Almighty says, wa Not only the grain, not only the grapes, not only the green things that is coming out, wa He also made different things, olives coming from the same earth. Nakhla, palm tree coming from the same earth. وَحَدَائِقَ غُلْبَ And the gardens, the huge gardens surrounding you, everything coming from the dead land. It was nothing. And then Allah poured rain on it. And out of it, everything is coming out. The grain, the grapes, the olives, the palm tree, and everything. Yet you are denying the power of Allah Almighty. Subhanallah. Glory be to Allah. How come a person think like that? And yes, they used to be people at the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to deny all these things. They are eating. They are having the same thing that Allah Almighty mentioning. They are eating and they are knowing the palm tree in front of them. They know what is zaytun is. They know what is the olive is. They know what is the grape is. They are doing everything and using everything that Allah Almighty gave them. But yet they denied. This happened almost more than 1,400 years ago and it's happening today at this age that the people are denying Allah. People are eating from the blessings of Allah. People are eating from the fruits and grapes and everything that Allah gave them and provided them. Yet, they cannot think about Allah Almighty. So, it's a big loss of those who don't know who Allah is. And then again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continued and He is telling us about the, all these blessings that Allah Almighty is keep giving and giving and giving. And then He said what? وَحَدَائِقَ غُلْبَ All these gardens around you. وَفَاكِهَةً وَأَبَّا And all kind of fruits that you are having. All kind of fruits. But yet you are denying. And then Allah Almighty said what? مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِأَنْعَامِكُمْ it's something that you can enjoy and rejoice within yourself and your animals and cattle and sheep and camels and whatever that you are having, all kind of animals. So Allah is not only providing you and giving you and blessing you, but He is also giving and providing and feeding the animals around you. Yet there are some people who are denying Allah Almighty and His Qudra and His power and His will. Subhanallah. And then what happened? After that, giving all these reminders about the blessings that Allah Almighty giving these non-Muslims and disbelievers, what happened? Allah Almighty got serious. Allah Almighty changed His way of talking. Allah Almighty changed His tone and way of talking to these non-believers. And he said what? فَإِذَا جَاءَتِ الصَّاخَةِ When the horrible and terrified time will come. Sakha also literally means that the scream, the one who scream, and this exactly when will happen? When Allah Almighty command one of the angels who's having this big horn, and he will blow, and out of this blow, the sound will come, and this sound, everyone will hear it, they will die. That's it. This is called Sakha. This is the scary voice that will come from the sky and every single living being on this earth will hear that Sakha and they will die. So Allah Almighty reminding all of you and us and everyone that I'm giving you and I'm blessing you and I'm sending you my uh, blessings on you and I'm having mercy upon you and I'm providing you all this food and everything but yet you are denying at that point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said what? فَإِذَا جَاءَتِ الصَّاخَةِ When the time will come, when the scream, 
when the sound will happen, the sound of the horn is so terrified that when it will come, you will see something else. What will happen after that? Allah Almighty said, at that time, the situation will be horrible. The things will be around you terrifying. It will terrify people. In order to know what exactly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said after, إِذَا جَاءَتِ الصَّاخَةِ When this scream and when this time will come, what will happen? You have to stay with us until the next episode. We will see you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.